Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trails the second chapter. We are back as where we were, with two other ways remaining. I did however went back, like I said, to the beginning of the tunnels, where we could go the other way just to check what was there. And there was one room with one chest. But since the content of the chest was pretty decent, let me put up a, a screen of what we found there. And it's basically a monster in a box with some nice Hermes boots to get afterwards, which is a perfect, um, let's say, agility increasing equipment for a male character. So we gave it to Zin. So for now, let us move on because we have one door here and one door down here. And this one. I checked that was only a chest, so let's grab it. First tier. Hey you, yeah you, start reading all these chest messages and get on with playing the game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are some that might say that when they uh, watch my let's plays. But yes, we always read the chest. Just in case there is a really nice secret message. And the shoes that we got, I wouldn't be too surprised if they're female now. Yes. And it's uh, basically the same type of shoes they found in the other chest, just for females only now. Let's give it to Estelle. And the Hermes gear, that's the one that we got. So the deck set, basically the same as Estelle just got, but just for males. Alright, let's go back and go through the other door and hopefully we can reach the end of the tunnel today and see what kind of other district we're getting into next time. Cause we went to a park district, a residential district, and I said last episode, maybe a business district this time. Just to, to show us off the different regions you have. Cause it could technically also be another residential district cause they said there was 128, but in all honesty, I highly doubt that. Just putting up the same kind of region we've already been to. But it is going to be curious to see what we're going to find there. And if it is a business, what kind of business would they be doing in ancient times? Same thing they're actually doing right now, only with some higher technology. Or something totally different. Yes, you will be keep uh, on fighting these enemies. If you can just because of the sepith that we get from them, which is very sorely yikes. Okay, no boss music, so it's a normal enemy. Ebony scale can call its allies. If we allow it to. <laughs> well, since we are on a critical, I see no reason to fang it up. They will at least uh, take care of the little ones and make some nice decent damage on the big ones. Yeah, look at that. Almost 5,000. Half of its HP gone just like that. Close enough for a god kick? Yes. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, they stood no chance. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Look at those uh, blue sepith all the way out of the screen. I'll take it gladly. Uh, we need more of these type of enemies which uh, get that amount of sepith. It'll be pretty grindable for me. And since that really felt like uh, a normal encounter, like I said, is it gonna be just like the last time, like an indication that we are reaching the end? And we are. It's some kind of large plaza. Industrial block Victoria. Well, that is some sort of business area, isn't it? 
I uh, say, I, I call this a good in uh, suggestion from last time, yeah. Hmm, the scale of the buildings is tremendous as well. The roads are so broad and open too. I wonder what this place was. I think this may be an industrial area. It would make sense if this water is for industrial use. Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Anyway, let's uh, have a look around. Let's definitely have a look around. Okay, same enemies as before. Basic uh, patrol drones. Let's see what kind of thing we have. Okay, so that's the next region. The, we want to check all the other areas, just uh, in case there are some chest or interactable objects. This is cool. Is that like a generator? Like a restored chamber or maybe even a drone? We know what these are. These are fluff balls. Mm, do we want to hurricane? I think we do. And a part of us do want uh, to extend this fight as long as possible, because the longer it takes, and the more CP Joshua can recover. Chloe is definitely faster than you. Okay, so what's he trying to do? But it matters, cause it's not gonna survive until then. Yeah, get Chloe to level 80. I want to see if she gets something as well. Omega Craft. At the bottom of the chest, you find only crumbs. Briefly wondering how long a chest like this would keep food fresh for. You walk away. For eons, until someone opens the chest and let the air in. Because once the air gets in, everything dies. Uh, so we okay from the bottom. Is it a giant closed door, so we probably won't be able to get past that? Oh, I wanna check the circles out. Mirage Gem. Despite your repeated searches, this chest doesn't contain any invincible, uh, invisible items. In fact, it doesn't contain anything visible or otherwise. It is, for lack of a better word, empty. Any enemies on this ring? It is not. Oh, well, there is. Fluffies. Uh, I do actually need to check that gem and see what it actually does, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a level 5 gem. Josh, you're already on a hundred. Oh, recovery is going really nice and really quick. <laughs> Stop poisoning Zin. He will be okay, he has way too much- Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, he has a lot of HP, but because of that, Venom can also take a lot away from him. Ah, but we're fine. We have a great healer, and he was only maxed out, so... No need to worry. The gate is firmly locked. For now. Alright, more fluffies. Could be another chest? No, another kind of reward. <laughs> Fluffy enemies. Ooh, nice, nice sepid. Oh no, not again. 
No, no, don't worry. You don't need to be traumatized of me opening up all your chests. Alright. This is for the first part. And we got a small and a big building. And I think one is the emergency lock. And the other one is an elevator to activate the other hollow rail. So I'm definitely going to go and do that. Because we do have a gospel now. So we should be able to instantly activate it already. Just looking around for any more chests. Or is this going to be something else that's going to stop us from opening up the emergency tunnels? Because there has to be a reason for us to go to the other screen, right? To the other region. Besides our own natural curiosity. Halo Rail, Victoria Station number 7. The Halo Rail system is currently operating at limited capacity. We apologize for the inconvenience. Please select a service from this terminal. Uh, Victoria is Liberal's beating industrial heart, located on the eastern side of the Ark. All daily necessities, from food to clothes to medicines to even homes, are produced in Victoria's round-the-clock workshops. The district is made up of 64 blocks, with blocks 1 through 8 designed as the Ark's primary trade port. Halo Rail System is currently limited. Would you like to activate Emergency Operation Mode for Cradle Station number 35? All right, it's connected. Well, I'm thinking one thing. Uh, let's see what we can use uh, three stations now, right? Yes, this makes things much easier. Okay, so we can go back with it. Can we open up the emergency hatch? But like I said, what I was thinking is that we are in a factory area. And there is one person who is like crazy about anything mechanical. So maybe we need to go back and switch Tida into the party. Because she'll definitely love it here. Uh, Onyx, gold and silver. So EP cut, EP increase and speed up. Good to know. We gotta remember these because eventually, if we wanna max out our party, we wanna use as much of these types of Sepith as we can. In the event of a service disruption of the Halo Rail, a gate may be unlocked at each station, leading to the substrata access passage. Warning by order of the access pillar, the Victoria District is currently on security lockdown. Please present your gospel ID and enter the password to access this function. A password? I get a feeling this lockdown is recent. Looks like the society has mastered quite a few of the city's controls already. Okay, so that's why we need to go to the other area. We need to learn what the password is. Alright. I am uh, holding on to the idea in my head is that we are in a factory place with machines. So, Tita would be a nice member to have. But it's gonna be uh, expensive, isn't it, again, to uh, put her a little bit up to speed with the other characters. Could be worth it, though. But like I said, this is an area with all types of machines. If we need to work those machines, Tita, she's just gonna go crazy that she's with us. Who would switch out? Because, like, you know, I love Zin. He's amazing, extremely useful. But we need a healer. So we cannot uh, switch Chloe out. Right? Alright, let's uh, switch Tita for Zin and see how that looks like. And we can always uh, put Zin back in in exchange for Chloe. Just need to see how we're gonna set up Tita. Because he's more like a ranged uh, combatant. I'll do it here. Oh, okay. Together now. Uh, Tempest from 892. 
Well, at least it's a medium range uh, outfit. Dragon skin jumpsuit. Okay. Composites, long barrel, that one she's gonna keep. I do want a longer barrel to create an even bigger range as so it doesn't need to move at all. I do want some defense against anything. I'm not seeing anything specifically. Ooh. Uh, normal defense and shield defense. Speed. It is good though. Yeah, why not? F for now at least. Okay, what kind of orbness does she have? Okay, so we made her a semi healer. Uh, it's already got an HP cut, attack 4, HP 4, mind 4. So technically, she could function as a healer, so we could switch it out for Zin. She might not be as powerful with her attacks as Chloe, because she's not naturally an art user. But I think it will survive. Alright, do we have a better action for her? Yes, we do. And he doesn't need to move because she attacks everywhere. Uh, do we want Eagle Eye? I think we might need to switch Eagle Eye up for something else. And is there something else that might be useful for her? Is there a certain type we can only be using here? It is. Okay, so which one do we have as options? Eagle Eye, see the enemies, create movement which is necessary, range isn't necessary as well. She could get more criticals with her normal strike. Sure. Of course, small amounts while walking. It's nice, not super. So, we got some area attacks, not a whole lot. Healing. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely the perfect setup for her, by no means. But, like I said, I, I want her in the party. Do we want to unlock a few uh, slots? Not all of them, but at least a couple. That's not necessary. But I don't think it would be worth uh, opening up all of it. It's not hers. Uh, put some of the cheaper. Yeah, because she is, of course, more of a physical fighter. None of the slots are really expensive to unlock, so let's just do it. It hurts, but I think we can get over it. Alright, have a rest. Alright. I will see you all back at the factory. <laughs> okay, back in business. Time to re-explore everything. Uh, maybe do a fight or two just to uh, give it a feeling of fighting again. Because it's been a while. And of course, for us to check uh, what the region is of her gun. Because it's an M. But how big is it exactly? And of course, how powerful is she? Because if you can get a big region, but she doesn't do any damage, then we'll need to rely on our arts. Which, as you can see, even with all the slots open, is only 482, which is a major indicator that she is definitely not a uh, art fighter. So damage was supposed to happen, yes. But if we can somehow manage to get the groups a little bit tighter together, we can make some bigger uses out of her.
absolutely no problem. And just like with Chloe, our ambition is getting her to at least level 80. Which we didn't quite do just yet with Chloe, but... I'm not counting. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Because like I said, I do plan to switch the party up depending on the situation. Like the area and the surroundings and characters we meet. So we know uh, what kind of potential text we might use. Because if we see like Ren, we need Estelle. If we see Direwolf, we want Zin. And so on and so on and so on. And of course, if you're in a factory area, you use Tida. I don't think anyone can question that decision. I hope. <laughs> Glorious? Man, I never thought we'd end up in a place like this. What do you figure they'll uh, make us do now? No clue. With the professor and the enforcers all heading out together though, I doubt there's much left for us. Probably just uh, capturing intruders like those bandits, you think? Yeah, the Librillion ship crashed down here too, didn't it? Don't we need to deal with them? Well, we got orders on that. Professor says to ignore him until he and the others get back. Not like they can do much uh, to us until their ship is fixed. Oh, so this is where the Glorious is docked. Whoa, what a huge ship! I believe this may be our chance. Yes, if all the major, major society members are absent. This is the best shot we have at saving the cop was. We should break in. Wait a sec. I'm all for going in, but shouldn't we tell Josette? We are going to rescue her brothers. Estelle. Uh, <laughs> don't misunderstand, okay? It's just, you know, a responsible appraiser thing to do, yeah. <laughs> That's so like you, Estelle. Let us return to your safer now, then. <laughs> yeah. Let's head back to the Halo Rail Station, then. Good point. Okay, so the game isn't even allowing us to to use uh, this team. We need Josette. Which is a very weird thing to say, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, understandable nonetheless. We're saving her brothers, we promised we'd say something, and Estelle always makes good on her promises. So I'm guessing we're going to go back to Darcy and pick Josette up. So uh, <laughs> once again, I'll see you there. Right, and back we are. Time to check uh, what kind of person Josette is. I've heard she's not the most spectacular party member, but hey, since he is gonna come with us, we better put her in a place that she well deserves, like healer or attacker. Oh, hi Joshua. What's wrong? You look like you want to say something. Yes, we uh, came to tell you. Wait, did you? Yeah, so... Estelle and Joshua told Joseph about how they found the Glorious in the Factoria district. For real? Let's go right now then! Cal and Don have to be there! A and then go away and not take her. Will we actually be stopped if we go to the Glorious now without her? Because we went back and we told her. So we did our due diligence, didn't we? <laughs> no, no, we we we've got to take her. Alright, let's see what she is. Okay, mm so it looks like she uses the same weapons as uh, Tito. So, well, no, I think that's... I think that's an Olivier weapon. Yeah, single target, no area. 8th uh, Division Garb. Composites. Prevents blind. No, you're ranged, so you gotta have a long barrel at least. And let's give her a soul orb. That's a proper, uh, proper addition, right? Okay, let's see what kind of S break she has. She doesn't have an S break at all. Nice. Uh, and that's what we uh, are allowing to play with us. All right. Put her there where we normally put background people. 
Kind of ornaments. Is she rocking? Not a lot. Let's uh, remove everything. I want her from the ground up so we know what kind of mandatory ones uh, she has. Okay, so she has two earth ones. Is one straight line? Oh, two different sources. So we want the biggest one to influence both. Oh, and since this must be another Earth one, Petrify two. Because uh, I do like Petrify. Yeah, they have the both uh, the same downside. Well, I could have making like a substitute healer, like with the basic things. Cause it should be possible, right? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, he's. Um, let's just let us go with it and see what happens. Let's give her a mind three for now. And then this has to be a wind in order to tear it up. Then we can use these for some additional firepower. So give her back her attack four. And what would be a nice complement to it, like maybe a little bit extra speed so she can actually act or do we no, I think the EP cut will be a good one, so her healing doesn't cost that much. Since she doesn't have that much of EP to begin with, and we don't have the set path to unlock it all. And she does now have Earth Wall as a nice substitute if she is totally useless in a fight, even though petrifying. If it activates, it could be really nice. Okay, so decent wind. Very nice fire. Good ice. Yeah, nice attack arts. Like I said, I don't think she has the capability to be a very impressive art user, but this way we can have three people that are really offensive. Like, not uh, insultingly, but like attack wise. And she can just uh, dangle along with her. I do want to see if we can get a mind four out of our shop. And maybe see if we can get one or two upgrades to her EP storage, which would be great if we can. Uh, let's see, mind. Yeah, this is expensive. Uh, what kind of just that we're talking about? Why do you have? Why are you so expensive? Let's uh, open these two. Let's at least give her like 50 or 60 uh, extra EP, which is like a couple of heals. Okay, let's see where she ends up with. And CP? Yeah, she, she, she can get whatever she wants, because she doesn't have an s -craft, so I don't want to say she doesn't count, but she doesn't have a lot of impact. Chain 2, not even 3. Stampede and Anchor Flail. Well, we'll see what it does as soon as we start the fighting. All right, let's head back to the Victoria and I see if I can have a few fights in between us here and getting there so we can uh, give her some CP so she can show off her skill set. Maybe gain a level or two with it, an S-Craft. Because if she gets one, it would be very nice to have during, you know, maybe a slight boss fight in order to rescue her brothers. But yeah, let's go to the area and see what we can do. Alright, we're back at the Glorious. Let's see how we're gonna attack this thing. Once we go in, we won't be able to disengage until we rescue the Kapuas. Are you sure we're ready to break into the Glorious? Hey, go for it. We've done all the prep we can. Okay, let's go. Kapua, make sure you keep him up, okay? That's my line, Airhead. What the? Enemy attack. It's the Bracers. Wasn't your ship down for repairs? How did you get here? Well, they're called Legs. 
You might have heard of him. Give me back my brothers. Alright. Do you want to take care of them quickly? Or do you want to preserve our strength? And why don't you set move location in the party? Yeah, you're gonna go back there, lady, after the fight. Because that's not your station. Uh, let's preserve ourselves. Yeah, I think three is max. Can he hit more than two? Mm, I guess not, but it's still a great move. Alright, then you finish it off with the hurricane. After that, we just clean up. I was hoping there's gonna be at least one death blow in between. Right, let's see. Uh, Stampede combines gunfire to lower the defense and potential faint with throwing out a metal anchor. Yar! Only one target in the area. Well, I'm more curious to see what it actually is. <laughs> Just uh, shoving a big metal object in the enemy's face. I can uh, abide by that. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, stay fainted for a little while longer. Yeah, the damage they do is negligible. As long as that one guy is fainted... <laughs> the other two will become a high-value target. Mm, just attack, maybe? Oh, perfect timing. Really? He locked our moveset? Fine, if you wanna do that, you do that. Him. He just isn't a magic user, is he? Oh well. He did his best. Magics is not uh, the reason we put him in the team. Okay, one group down. Alright, we'll break into the ship here. Just said, stay close. Mm, right. I wonder if there's going to be an enforcer in here, one we don't know about. This is the interior of the Glorious? Hmm, such space inside. It's like we're outside, really. Yeah, it is. really is kind of stupidly huge, isn't it? And Orbors probably has combat archaisms all over the place. You guys escaped from this ship before, right? Any idea where Cal and Don might be? Actually, maybe. The prison? There is that room I was uh, kept locked up in. Sort of a weird prison though. That's because it was technically a guest room. I bet the cup was are being kept in the brig. The, the, the brig? So they do have an actual prison. I don't remember seeing it when we escaped before. I do. I think it was in the last, before last screen and it was actually called a prison. I think it's on the map. Uh, they had the ele electromagnetic barriers raised to try and stop our escape, remember? It prevented us from going everywhere on the ship. The barriers aren't up at the moment. This is probably the best chance we have at saving the Kapuas. So, do we know where these cells are? As I remember, there's a small staircase to the lower decks down this passageway. The brick should be down there. Staircase to the brig. Okay, let's check it out. 
Can we also check the rest out? See, cells, prisons. So if we go around it straight ahead, take the second to the right, we should be there. Can I some assume that all the chests we got before are still taken? So the, only the two rooms in the middle will be the ones we might want to explore. Okay, so it's still closed, so we need to go around it. Oh, the map is turned. Okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Is this the brick? Or isn't it? Revolter. Not exactly shy, are you? EP charge 2. Let's form a pact. Infinite treasure in exchange for your life. Monsters appeared, yeah. We had to assume that. Alright, let's uh, be a little bit more severe here. So I think there's plenty of time to recover a lot of his CP, so... Right now, with this, we can take the edge off a little bit. to do a hurricane again. Yeah. There's our 200 back again. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think she would get the 400, but still pretty close though. I do wonder if Josette is gonna get an S-Craft or not. Because I have been leveling up a little bit, like I gave her like three levels before we got here. Just to, let's say, break her in a little bit. And also to regain some of the Sepith. Oh, sound, yeah, let's uh, destroy this one first. And they still will get her, and the rest is of a nice distance. I thought that they were all too finely lined up. Easy for him to hit. Mm, let's boost. Oh, too far away. Then maybe art? Uh, no affinity, so any magic will do. Mm, I, I might have needed to heal them. It. Yeah, we don't have to move down, so that should be fine. Oh, I was just thinking, I want to move her a little bit closer so that everyone is in the same area, but if he moves back, then everybody will walk away again. <laughs> Keep him here. Got it. Then we can use him as a target for the healing. Yes, it actually worked. Unless he does a very unfair move over 5,000 freaking damage and kills everyone. Totally annihilating my chances of healing my party. Salty? A little bit. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, I think uh, Zin is the perfect one to resurrect somebody because he can walk over the entire field. Is going to explode. But I think maybe if I just art him down. 
Or maybe the way to choice in the staircase. Oh, Lord, it's not doing enough damage. Really? Joshua is dead slow. Alright, I did not expect that. Okay, I did expect him to blow himself up. Ah, <laughs> sometimes you learn new things. <laughs> A grail locket. Oh, that's nice. You found a fine layer of dust. Alright, so... That one is, of course, uh, going to... We're gonna have to down his abilities a bit. Because if I know my grail locket, it's an all status protection. So that is too good to uh, pass up. Uh, first, put the tactics battle position. And you go back there. Alright, that means everybody is healed up. They're all bomb. For every extra item you take from a treasure chest, a creepy sheep is shared. I, I, I actually know that's true. They're all bomb. Everything that mattered in here is gone. They're all bomb. You've already looted this chest right down to the bare bottom. Ah, the only way we know how. Alright, so the big ones, let's try to avoid them. If all possible. They're bomb. You begin to suspect that this treasure chest is a portal to the meat dimension. Smelling salts. Orbments. Keeping your breath fresher for longer. Celestial bomb. You flip open the lid knowing full well you won't find anything. You're still somehow disappointed by the result. Nice Sepith. Beautiful. You might look at this chest and think it's empty, but... That's just negative thinking. Otter see this baby and marvel at the amazing air inside. Returning to a chest you just looted is kind of like dumpster diving, you know? I know. That's why I'm actually doing it. <laughs> Do I actually want to give this to her? Because if I technically save it, I could give it to Olivier because they use the same weapons. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Seven star sword for Chloe. Nice. What's turning here? Another bright idea? Technically, yes, an Estelle bright idea. Saw what you were doing there. Very clever. Okay, so I had the map turned around, so if I'm correct, then this door should be the brick. Maybe. Is it? Yes, the glorious brig. You are here. Guys! What in? Josette and... Miss Josette! How did you get in here? Oh, thank Ideos. Thank Ideos, everyone's safe. Okay, just, just stay still. We're here to rescue you. We'll get you out. Rescue us? Astray, what in the hell is this? And what uh, are you even doing here? How do you get up into the city? Well, briefly. Joshua quickly explained what happened at the towers and afterwards. Ah, I get it. You came here chasing the society again. Of all the... Hey, Josette. You realize you put ourselves on the line so you could get away, right? So why are you... Are you completely dense? Maybe I was safe, but I was all alone. I thought you all were... I thought you all were even better if we all met Ideos together. Yeah, but what if I don't want my little sister to meet the goddess just yet? Worry about yourself for once in your life, damn it. But I am worrying about myself. What do you think you have nothing to do with me? What do you think would happen to me if you... <laughs> wow, 
I never realize how close they are. <laughs> They're so close despite the exterior. Ah, come on, you two. This might be a, a single worst place to have a fight right now. Still, acting like kids after all this time, I swear. Tom, but... Uh, look, Kyle, she's here, we can change that. So let's make the most of it and try to escape. So, lad, you have any idea on that front, I hope? Hmm, sort of. The main issue is this energy barrier. Its controls are... As near as I can tell, completely locked. There's no way we have the time to work our way around the security program. Hmm, I thought so. But, 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 but... Hmm, is there any way to force it? Like, maybe use a bomb to blow off the energy border thingy or something? No, the barrier itself will be unaffected by conventional explosives. And anything powerful enough to damage the bulkhead will put the prisoners in danger. The only option I can see at this point is to find an up-to-date security card. A uh, what now? Oh, we can use that to get rid of the barrier, right? Yes, it's a small car you put in a terminal here. If you can find one, we should be able to deactivate the barrier. They all got certain changes to the card since the last security breach, so the one I took before is no good. We'll need a new one. Okay then. Any idea where we uh, they'd keep these cards? Second floor in the forecastle. The security dispensary is in the same area where you were being held. Oh, I get it. And a really high security block. Let us make haste then, before we are discovered. Kyle, done, guys. We'll go find a car thing. Just hold on. We'll be right back once we get it. Uh, fine. It's not like you'd listen if I said no anyway. Ah, uh, that. And the rest of you, make sure our little sister doesn't fly too far off the handle, alright? Oh, you can count on us. Don't worry, I've got a tight grip on her leash. On my... <sighs> Big words from someone who's way more reckless than I'll ever be. I can't tie an actual leash around you, you know? <laughs> Please, truce, remember? Come on, we need to return to the entrance. We'll need to use the elevator on the opposite side to reach the second floor of the forecastle. Okay. Come on. Any... ooh. More chests in the prison cells? I want those chests. <laughs> Ah, this place is too damn big, if you ask me. I don't have a clue where the second floor of the forecastle area will be. Right, go on, but be careful. Ah, some Jaegers just came by on patrol. Watch out, make sure they don't see you. And if they do, make sure you destroy them. Okay, so he's head to the forefront. I know there is a map here. See? So, elevator to the hangar, elevator to the stern. And so, I'm guessing we need to use the elevator to the stern, and that's what he's talking about. So, do we want to go in this direction? Does it see where it is? Or do we want to go straight to the area where we are? Because we've been in this place, we've navigated it. Farge, how can we miss this? We're so close, and she just walked past it. Yeah, we shouldn't underestimate these machines, because they are so much more powerful than uh, we realized. Okay, so what can you do to make a difference? Just a normal airstrike? She doesn't do the most insane damage, but I've seen worse. Oh, this is gonna do all damage all around, isn't it? Yeah. Praise yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the damage itself is also a slight recovery on its own. 
And I do think that with her we really need to keep in mind that we do have EP recovery items. Uh, quite a lot actually. <laughs> All made for her. Alright, let's avoid those. But they are way too annoying. Ah, these one I can definitely take. So those would be the perfect recovery vessels. Oh, I was hoping that it would be all three, but I'll take two. Just uh, you go check normally. Just like with uh, Joshua, as in Estelle, we want to keep pushing the 200. Still using some of the crafts, but don't get too far away. So that if we are in a legit fight, it doesn't take too long for us to recover it. First floor? Free healing? Hell yeah. Do we need a lot? Hell no. <laughs> if I have known it was here, I would have not used EP. Uh, okay, so the stern first floor, elevator to the second floor. Hmm. No, I think we do need to go up. Maybe I misinterpreted their instruction, but we needed to go where Estelle was being held, right? So, technically speaking, that should be through the deck. Oh well, let's, let's go there and see uh, what we can find. And like I said, try avoiding all this. The little things along the way, picking up all, all the extra chests I can find. Space for rent, management, barrel bomb. A single tumble wheel rolls from one side of the chest to the other. Recharge. You open up the chest, eyes wild with avarice. Your face falls as you realize you've already taken everything. Uh, someone robbed this chest blind. Not to worry, you're on the case. That's your bomb. This empty chest is a monument to your reckless greed. Dark Messiah. You only find a bleak, empty void. That is uh, what I find every day. Is that for her? No, it's a male one. Nice. I'll take it. A good uh, counterpart for changing to the Grail Locket. Gun powder. As you reach into the chest, the lid suddenly snaps down. It's eating you alive. Kidding. Oh, you should have seen the look on your face. Establishment. You kick the chest open, but all you get for your talent and footwork is a stubbed toe. Ow. EP charge 2. You look under the chest, hoping to find the key to a brand new airship, but you don't find anything. I want to find the keys to the Bobcat. Even if I do find it, I don't know if I would give the keys back to the Kapuas, because the Bobcat is a pretty decent ship. Celestial Bomb. They all look the same to you now. Every one of them, so helpless, so vulnerable, a mere target for you and your insatiable hunger. You see a single tear roll down its chest cheek. Wait a second. Chest don't have tears, ducks. Aureola dress. This just is as empty as your soul. You damn straight. This for you. Uh, yes. Why does the strength go down? Uh, 
Since you set this here for now, I think it would be better for her, since he is supposed to use arts. And then we'll lower uh, Estelle's strength. Caesar is better than that. Okay, let's go over deck. Uh oh. Ah, not these guys again. Well, technically, I was not surprised. Okay, you just said you're on healing duty. And I think we might need to heal up to start out with. Alright. Mm. <laughs> They're too far away, so it doesn't actually work. Let's up Joshua, so his CP regenerates a little bit faster. If it works that way, probably not. Uh, let's see, yeah. God Kick is also too far away, hell yeah. And that is not an A, so we'll not get any benefits from trying to impede it. Move yourself. And then Joshua, you're gonna be the last one, and hopefully it's tracked on the ground and not on Joshua itself. But that would be slightly disappointed. Ah, oh, he missed. Come on. Can you guys get a bit closer? Okay. I'm thinking what I wanted to do is not actually working, is it? Oh, he's not even going before the rest, so that makes absolutely no uh, sense to uh, use that. Uh, so, let's attack this. Joshua will go in normal attack mode. Set on the minor heels. Do go Genbu on everyone. Survive! Survive, survive, survive! Ow! Ah, oh, come on, Josette! Exact the same situation as we had before. One gets killed, healing is, is uh, stopped, everything is shot to shit. Ah, uh, so. Do we need to focus on healing or. Yeah, it's too far to go down, isn't it? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, still. You need to be recovered, just said. Yeah, you need to be waiting a little bit because I, I, I can't do anything with you at the moment. Do we want to use a celestial bomb? We have 14. Might need to. Alright. 
yeah, the, the, they would have killed her instantly if we didn't have, didn't do that. Alright, close enough to get her for a god kick. No, of course not. They're just too big to do anything like that. No, I think we need uh, to heal up. I think the fence down is not doing any favors at the moment. Uh, 200? No, I need, I need to heal. And there's no critical uh, on the way, is there? I don't think she has any... No, we don't. Mm. No, that would be after every single one of them. And I'm trying to play it a bit safe here. Because there's no critical, there was no sense in waiting with unleashing that. This way you can start recovering it again. Because it's still uh, over 10,000 damage. Come on. That's a targeted assault, really. Oh, this fight is not going the way I want to. Keep it together, you guys. You can do this. As long as we can get rid of one of them, that should definitely make this a lot easier. And with her death, her defense is restored again. Yeah, just in case I can destroy it. Oh, having said that, isn't uh, Zin going to be destroyed by the blast if it is, is destroyed? Well, it's just 29 where he has. Uh -oh. Come on, survive, buddy. Oh, not even a chance in hell. We're going to end up this fight with... Everybody having died at least once is it. <laughs> Alright, one of them is gone, so that should at least uh, take the edge off a little bit. Okay, so that's our next target. 10,000. Let's uh, slowly chip it away while trying to stay alive. Okay, so Zin is the only one that's gonna be up after that. Josette definitely needs a heal. I think Estelle should be able to survive unless one of these will decide to walk all over her, then nothing will uh, help. Or they will both target her. That way I wanna at least uh, be able to use her attack before she gets destroyed again. Never enough time. Could also just And they're gonna go off the just said then, isn't it? Of course. 
I should have known. Yeah, I'm gonna use item because it's quicker than healing magic. So that should have everybody at least a decent amount of HP to survive at least one or two assaults. So now we can focus on a little bit more the offensive tropes. Good. How much is it? 1500. That's just a bit more than his standard attack. So do you want to... <laughs> we can't smite it. Alright. Oh yes! Critical! It was not a guarantee. Strike 2 does it again. Um, I think we can all go out of the way. Come on, let's do it. We can all also do it with some purpose. That would be perfect. Ah, nice. So now he will miss. think we'll be getting a full sever on him anymore so he has to use his normal skills we take the critical nice fair enough damage Okay, so let's uh, head back to the attack again. Yeah, shooting, I don't know. Will it actually work? It did, nice. I'll take it, I'll take it. Nicely done, just that. That's that thing. And whoever says you couldn't Let's be useful. <laughs> Two level up, still no new moves. Alright. Well, I'm sorry to say, but I'm gonna leave the episode here, halfway down the glorious. Cause this is taking a lot longer than I expected. I thought maybe 45 minutes or something, you can do the entirety of the glorious. Not gonna happen. So, I'm gonna leave it here, next time we're gonna continue exploring the entirety of the ship, trying to find that card, and in the meanwhile, I might fight a couple of enemies uh, on deck, recover ourselves, and prepare for another glorious fight. So, that's gonna be next time, until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are, and if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, make sure to be back next time, as we free the Kapuas. Bye bye.